Wiffle ball is my life, plain and simple. Uh, you know, growing up as a kid, I've, I've just wanted to be a professional wiffle ball player, and now look at me. Uh, I started game one of the World Series for wiffle ball, so suck on that. In the fall of 2017, the best wiffle ball series in the history of Plastic took place just minutes off of UConn's campus. In this epic upstairs versus downstairs matchup, downstairs pitcher Joe Kanowski had the performance of a lifetime in game one. They call it the perfect game, I call it a no-toucher. They didn't even touch the ball. I was on point, no one could stop me. I'm, that's why I'm the best. I said, Thank God he threw a perfect game that day. Because I mean, I was still hammered from the night before. Like, I was seeing double out there, so even if the ball came my way, I probably wouldn't have missed it. He was just on. I mean, they could have hit him. He was painting them black, striking them out. I was getting bored in the outfield. I mean, came out there, I thought I was going to have a great game, but just came with dealing. Couldn't, couldn't hit anything. Yeah, I was a member of the upstairs team. Joe was on that day. It's hard to. I was the opposite pitcher, smashing pitch for pitch the first couple of innings, but then at one point he just took off and we had no answer for Joe that day. Already trailing one to nothing in the series, game two did not go any better for the upstairs squad. Game two did not go well for the upstairs team. You know, they finally got a run, but uh, we came away with the win with the walk off by Greg. Yeah, I was on that day. I was five for five. I knew it was coming. I mean, I think the estimated distance was about 505. Uh, yeah, game two, we figured it out a little bit. We pushed a few runs across, and I was pitching a lot better, but still, towards the third or fourth time through the lineup, they started really getting my slider, and after that, they, they had enough in the tank. And by the end of the game, I could tell that some of us were really starting to doubt whether we could pull this out. I mean, what game? I don't even remember playing, to be honest. With the downstairs team feeling confident in their 2-0 series lead, outfielder Dante Bossi suggested shortening the series from best of seven to best of five. Little did he know his decision would mark a turning point. Worst mistake of my life. I mean, I just really thought we could finish him off. Boy, was I wrong. You know, after being so dominant game one, two, you know, it, it really made me think, are these guys juicing? Because they come out game three and, you know, Anthony hit two home runs on me, something he didn't do the first two games. It just didn't make any sense. You know, like after game three, like, you know, had two home runs, you know, took it deep. <laughs> Joe's ball was just flowing out there for me to swing at. Dante's decision had motivated the upstairs team to play better, as they would win games three and four. After game three, I was like, I was telling our teammates, hey, don't let us win tonight. Don't let us win tonight. And then we get game four, and all of a sudden we're pretty up. And uh, we had a lot of hope going into game five. You could feel the momentum shift after game four. At that point, I knew we were dead in the water. All they had to do was get out there and mow us down. With the series tied at two, the highly anticipated championship game was about to begin. However, the upstairs team was about to break out their X Factor. So, you know, uh, I just got the call telling me there's a wiffle ball series, so you know I'm in. So, you know, I get the call. I don't even know these kids show up. I think some of them are drunk. Then, you know what, it's just the bottom of the fifth. Flash forward, turn to my teammate, said, you're not gonna get up, son. Next thing you know, oppo, series, me, keys, car, started it, left, done. After their crushing defeat, the downstairs team tried to figure out what went wrong. I probably shouldn't have gotten in that bar fight after game two, you know, I, I feel like that really impacted my shoulder. I'm not gonna lie, I'm a bit of a head case, and uh, I think that was obvious on the mound, you know, when things got rough, I imploded, and, you know, if I could go back, I'd probably start training with Alex Guerrero. So what would you change about the series? What would I change? Are you serious? I think you know. 